as you can see, it is flooded out here. So I won't be going out detecting or dump digging for until this dries up. So until it stops raining and dries up. Cause it, it is just too muddy for me. All right, but I'm gonna show y'all some uh, relics and stuff. I got a Riker case yesterday in the mail, two of them. And I also got some picture frames that I put relics in and I'm gonna show y'all some. All right, we will start with this because this is cool. All right, I found this in Florida. So on the beach in Florida, so i put it in a case and i put shells all around it and it is a real spanish real made in old mexico city it is a shipwreck coin don't exactly know how old it is right now but um it did break in two i broke it I was testing it, which I shouldn't have, and it cracked, so I put it in, I wrapped it in a napkin and put it in my glasses case, and um, I unwrapped it to take a look at it, and it come apart, so I'm the one that did that, but uh, what I can tell about it is that it is a shipwreck coin, it is silver, it is real, it is a Spanish real, and it was made in Old Mexico City, and it's old. <laughs> so I can tell you that. So uh, that was cool. All right, and it is pretty. All right. All right, y'all, as I said, I uh, uh, purchased two Riker cases, and they came in the mail yesterday. And I put my guns, my cap guns, in here. It didn't fit all of them. So I might have to get some more cases. But um, I put my best cap guns in here. And there's my bullet from the 1890s. Uh, my brother-in-law says that's my best find ever. <laughs> so... A uh, bullet from the 1890s. Um, can't remember uh, what kind it is, but, you know. And these two are Civil War bullets, but I um, uh, won them in a giveaway. That's my uh, Digging Canuck button. <laughs> I mean, my Digging Canuck uh, bullet right there. A Canuck in Alabama, if you want to go check that video out and uh my brother-in-law i think gave me that one or i give uh wanted to give away one but i found that one and uh i found this one now this one was just out in the uh field off there and I come across it, and I didn't know what it was until my brother-in-law told me what it was. Um, kind of a, a big round ball kind of bullet. And there's some more right there. And there's my, what's it called, a concho thing. Uh, come off a saddle or a saddle bag, horse, horse tack stuff. And here's some more horse tack that come off saddles and stuff. And um, that right there, I found out in the pasture, it's a, some kind of buckle, probably horse tack too. Uh, that right there, I found in a bowling pin. It's a deputy sheriff's badge. It, of course, it's a kid's deputy sheriff's badge, uh, 1950s. It, uh, it came out of a bowling pin <laughs> that I opened up and it was in the bowling pin, a plastic bowling pin with a game. It had um, dice made into, wooden dice made um, 
with a bowling pin image in the dice. Uh, but that was cool. And let's see what it, yeah, I got all these nice cap guns this year. And uh, moving on to this one, I put my compacts, my two of my compacts in here, I put, put in there. I put my clock that I found in there. I put my uh, World War II Army Aviation button there. And these are 1947 um, Army Air Force, I think, uh, buttons, 1947s. And then a couple more buttons. Uh, there's my, what do you call it? It's a anchor button with two floor de -lis. I think you call them on the sides right there. And I got my uh, eagle button from the uh, Spanish American War. There's the first button I found with my simplex right there. And all these other buttons are like just coat buttons and stuff. These, these four I found, these are unusual, I think. They're buttons. At first, I thought they were like uh, Chinese coins or something, but they're buttons made in the Chinese coin style, except they don't have the punch out in the middle, of course. Now, this, I think, I'm not sure, but I think this is part of a spoon. It, it's old, I know, uh, found it few years ago, part of a spoon handle. Uh, there's my Liberty lighter and my other lighters that I found. My pocket watch, which I was very, very happy to find. My first silver jewelry, um, my Marlboro keychain, uh, another a uh, heart keychain right here. That is a token I found not long ago. Uh, it's a, a blood type token from L. Um, uh, I can't remember, but it's from Columbus, Ohio, and on the back of it, it has the blood type on it. So it's a blood type token. This, I have no idea what that is. It might be a hair piece. Uh, found a one cent uh, food credit token. Uh, that right there is just the image of a, a mercury, I think. I don't know what it come off of. Uh, my mama gave me that. And I got several other tokens. Um, um, like you find in Las Vegas, casino tokens. And there's a four leaf clover, it's got a four leaf clover on the other side, but it's got China underneath. So I don't show that. But uh, I did find a, that's the seal of Alabama. And on the other side, it's a campaign token for uh, a senator and there is one of my digging TV tokens and there's my KG and Ringy on the other side of this one is KG and Ringy right there and there's some of my other tokens that's a like a, a friendship kind of necklace token thing that I found in Panama City this uh, last year a uh, good luck token I found. Uh, Chuck E. Cheese. There's my big um, buckle that I like. My big buckle. And cat, get down. <laughs> and there's my other buckle, a bull bu buckle. And my other buckle. And my other buckle. My baby buckle. And my other buckle. That's my baby buckle. Um, that's the 
um, smallest buckle I've, I've ever found, except I found one last summer that was littler than that, and uh, it broke, so I broke it. But, okay, I found my skull and my little bird, my little red bird, and of course my Pabst Blue Ribbon beer token right there, 1893 from the Chicago World's Fair in 1893. They didn't make many of those. They only made it for the best beer in America, because they won the best beer in America right there. And so they decided to put out prizes. And so they made the uh, Pabst Blue Ribbon token. And uh, that's what they made. And they only made made them for the World's Fair in 1893. So that's, that's kind of cool. And uh, got my locks. That's my eagle lock. lock. That's the first lock I, I ever found, okay? First lock I ever found. Uh, that's the second lock. And these three are my oldest locks right here. The Yale, the Pilot, and the Eagle, okay? And my Ford emblem right there. And let's see. What else I got in here? Right there is a hair clip. You can see the, um, I'd have to look that up again to see what it says. I'm, I've got stuff wrote down and everything, but I ain't got my notebook out. But uh, let me show you. I got my razors. My razors, um, my bucket luster was a razor. This one right here was my first razor as a bucket lister. And then I just kept finding them. I found two more. So that's pretty cool. And right here I got some just odds and ends right here that I found. And uh, I think that right there, I think that's the top to a um, compact I'm not sure and then I got these right here I've stuck in this one and I got uh, I had to put duct tape on the bottom it's a blue duct tape it's decorative <laughs> but I got two compacts in here cast iron owl I found a uh, mirror I found some uh, horse tack right in there. And uh, a guy peeping around a barn or something right there. Um, I put in this one, my lipstick tubes, all my lipstick tubes. And uh, I did find this mare. Uh, un unopened. And it's glass. So, I don't know how old it is or anything, but I'm keeping it because uh, it's unopened and the label is perfect. So, keeping that. And then here, I put my um, Vietnam um, hat I found. That's uh, my Vietnam hat I found. Uh, American Foreign Legion. American, um, what's it say? Uh, Veteran of Foreign Wars hat. And it's from Vietnam. And uh, whoever had it was from Connecticut. So um, it was from the Connecticut Foreign, Le foreign um, Wars right there. But it's Vietnam. So I put it in a case right there. I've been looking for a case for it, so. And then in this one, I have all of my um, rocks and flint and airheads. Now, some of these airheads I bought, most of them, most of the flint and everything I found in our creek. Um, that right there, I don't know if you can see it good, That one right there with the kind of black pitch on the bottom. This is my thumb is not 
long enough to reach. Okay, right there, that one right there is, I think it's a kelp and it still has some pitch on it. Found it down under our bluff and I found the rest of these in our creek, except these, these arrowheads right here I bought. That right there I think is a, a fossil is what I think that is. Is it looks kind of uh, some kind of insect or animal, little one, a little fossil, kind of. And then I got all kinds of Flint and River Rock. That one's neat right there. But uh, yeah. And that's it for today, y'all. Um, I'll get out soon after it stops raining and and dries up some because it's terrible out all right have a nice day y'all bye